Today, I'm going to teach you how you can make lightning at home. Now, you can tell that I'm in my bathroom because that's the darkest room in my house, and that's where you're going to want to finish out this experiment. So you're going to need a couple of things, a styrofoam plate, or I just have the top of a to-go box, an aluminum pie tin, a pencil with a big eraser on the end, a thumbtack, a wool sock or other wool material, and you can either use your finger or if you don't like to be shocked, I have a fork. So what you're going to do to start off is take the thumbtack, poke a hole right in the middle of your pie tin, and then put the eraser right on top of the end of that thumbtack and make it secure. So now you have a little handle. Then you're going to take your wool sock and you're going to rub it on the styrofoam plate. You're going to do this for about two minutes. Make sure that you're going fast and putting a lot of pressure to make sure you get some good static electricity. The longer you do it, the more static electricity it builds up, the bigger your lightning will be. All right, now that's been about two minutes, you're going to take your pie tin, set it right on top, and then I'm going to take my fork. This is very important. You want to turn off the lights and bring your fork slowly to the edge, and you'll hear if you're quiet, and you might even see some of that lightning. Now the science behind that is there are negative charges in your finger or the fork or in the clouds and then the positive charges are in the ground or the pie tin. What happens is the negative charges want to go where the positive charges are so when you touch it they switch places really fast and that's what makes the lightning and then when you hear thunder that's the air being pushed outward super duper fast. All right now you know how to make lightning at home.